ಕೈತಾಲೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಾಯ ಬೈ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಬಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರಾಂದ ಗೌರಾಂಗ ನಾವು ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಹೋಲಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಬಲಾಲ್ ದಿಘಿ Вот без причины милости Шиша Гуру и Гуранги сейчас мы прибыли с вами в это удивительное, чистое, трансцендентное место Чибалалдиги. If you look over on your on this side, your right to my left side. You see a very big pond. Если вы посмотрите в эту сторону, вы увидите огромное озеро там. And now it's uh, separated there many embankments, but it goes all the way to just behind the yoga pit. Оно сузилось, оно стало поменьше сейчас, но оно доходит до йога пит. This lake is about 1 km. Это озеро расстояние будет 1 км. So it is called the Balal Diki. Оно называется Балалди. So the history is very important. С этим озером связана одна очень важная история. In Satya Yuga, the incarnation of the empowered incarnation Shakti Vesha Avatar of Supreme Lord, Vitu Maharaj. He was leveling the earth. There were so many mountains everywhere. So for inhabitation for civilization he was making the flat places. Во время сайте Юги Шакти Агеша Аватара Притом Махарадж он решил выровнять землю, потому что было слишком много холмов, ему нужно было сделать побольше долин и полей, чтобы люди могли заселить землю. So when Pritu Maharaj and his associates were uh, leveling, level, leveling the earth here a very mm, effulgent golden lights came out from the ground когда они стали выравнивать землю тут на этом месте они увидели сияние которое исходит из недр земли so they stopped to work everyone said what is this все прекратили работу и подумали что это so then Pritu Maharaj being Shaktivesh avatar he went into meditation and in his meditation he realized this is Navadip Dham Притом Махарадж погрузился в медитацию, в медитации к нему пришло откровение о том, что это Навадвип Дхама. In the future the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna will appear and perform his pastimes here in the, in the golden avatar Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Он, он узнал о том, что в будущем Шри Кришна придет сюда в облике золотой ипостаси себя Шри Чайтани Махапрабху явит свои деяния тут. It was not the will of the Lord that it should be revealed to the world yet. So Prithu Maharaj didn't tell anyone anything, but he just told his associates to make a large kund here to commemorate this place. So it's called Prithu Kund. То есть это откровение пришло Махараджу Приту, но Господь не хотел, чтобы кто-нибудь, кто-либо об этом знал. Поэтому он ни с кем не поделился этой информацией. И позже это озеро назвали Приту Кундой. So later in the um, 12th century the, the last king the last uh, Hindu king of this area his name was a Lakshman Sain Последний Hindu царь этой местности который правил этой местностью его звали Lakshman Sain And he had Prithukund uh, expanded Он расширил это озеро Prithukund They made it wider and also deeper Сделал его глубже and и также шире With beautiful gods and he he named it he did it in memory of his father Balal Sain and so uh, this place is called Balal Digi that was first Pritukund and then Lakshman Sain expanded it and dedicated to his father Balal Sain so it's called Balal Digi Он посадил там много садов вдоль берега этого озера расширил озеро провел реновацию эти реновации он сделал в честь своего отца Балал Сейна и после этого уже озеро стали звать Балал Digi So you may know that there's a controversy over the location of the birthplace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mayapur. And even in recent times, some scholars have put forward the argument that the Mayapur is actually on the other side of the Ganga. 
in the place which people call Ramachandrapur. То есть до сих, до сих пор ученые какие-то выставляют предположения, что Майпур был расположен uh, на другом берегу Ганги. So the evidence, Ramachandrapur. So the evidence they give for this is that sometime after Mahaprabhu, the king King Birhambir, the disciple of Srinivas Acharya. You know, it was a king whose men had took all the books of the Goswamis in the bullet cart. So that king Bihambir, he of Vishnupur, he made a temple on the site of Mahaprabhu's birthplace. Small temple. But because the Ganga is always changing course, after some time the Ganges washed it away. So then later, uh, a king named Gorgovinda Singh, he uh, built a temple, uh, he rebuilt, he made a new temple on the same spot. So, some archaeologists, when the yoga pit was established on this side, there was one Babaji, his name was uh, Branj Mohandas Babaji, and he, he was doing uh, archaeological excavations in Ramachandrapur, and he dug, with the archaeologists, they dug many, many, about so many hundreds of holes in the ground on the other side, and they found some red stone and they identified that this red stone was the stone of the temple erected hundreds of years before by Guru Govinda Singh on the place of the birthplace of Mahaprabhu. What was the Babaji's name? Braj Mohan. Позже Браджа Мохан Бабаджи вместе с учеными, археологами, они делали раскопки там в Рамачандрапуре на другой стороне Ганги. И они протуравили много дыр и нашли красный камень. И это послужило доказательством того, что это тот самый красный камень, из которого so they tell a story that once he collected the evidence that he came over to the yoga pit in Mayapur and presented his evidence, but the brahmacharis beat him up and threw him out. So some scholars are telling this story, this history. I won't mention the name of anyone called Jagannatha. <laughs> so, and, and some people hear it and it sounds very convincing. Archaeological evidence. <laughs> but you should have no doubt that the location of the yoga pit is where we were yesterday here in Mayapur. <laughs> because one, the temple that was made by King Birhambir was washed away by the Ganga. So there's no question that Guru Govinda Singh could have made a temple on that on that spot. Unless the Ganges then moved again in the opposite direction. So the Ganges did move, but uh, even though they found the evidence of the stones of the temple made by Guru Govinda Singh, it was Guru Govinda Singh who made the mistake of building his temple on the wrong side. So it's yes, they did find Guru Govinda's temple, but the, that king made it in the wrong place. По факту они нашли эти археологические раскопки этого камня, это был правильный вот этот храм, только он был сам изначально построен не на том месте Горга Виннасинга. So, how, how can we be absolutely sure it's here? А в чем наш, откуда появляется вот эта наша уверенность, что Майя Пур тут, что Горга Пит тут расположен? Сила Рупа Госвами. 
An associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wrote the Navadip Astakam. And in the first verse he says, Sri Gauda Deshe Sura Dirgi Kayas Tire Tiram Ye Pura Punya Mayaha. I remember Navadip Dham. The place of Gorasunda situated on the charming bank of the um, Bhagira in between the Ganges and the Dirgika. The Ganges and the Dirgika. So Dirgika is a huge lake. And there's only one huge Dirgika. Odigi, it's become by corruption, it's called a digi, in the whole of this area, and that is this Balal Digi. So you can see that the uh, Mayapur yoga pit established by Srila Bhakti Thakur is exactly in between the Digi and the Ganga. Now, another thing is, from all the places, all the forests of Braj Mandala are present in Navadip Dham. So just north of the Digi, this uh, place is uh, non different from Madhuvan. And before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, then the, the Vishwakarma, the architect of the demigods, was thinking, I want to do some service for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So just to the north of here, in the Madhuvan, there is a, a line of kuns called Shasti Tirtha. Shasti Tirtha means 60 kuns. So, knowing that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would be doing his Harinam Sankirtan along here and the devotees would become uh, sometimes thirsty and want to rest or bathe. So, Vishwakarma made 60 kuns all the way from the Madhuvan here all the way to the, the town where we'll be going soon. Where was the palace of the Chan Kazi? So, in Brajmandal, which town is included within Madhuva? Mathura. Mathura. And who was ruling over Mathura Kamsa. during Brajalila? Kamsa. Kamsa. Kamsa and who is Kamsa in Gorilila? Chankazi. 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 So the Chankazi's palace, that means the incarnation of Kamsa is here. In the in the Mathura of Navadip Dham, oh. next to, uh, which is included in the Madhuvan of Navadip Dham. So it's described in Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, led his Maha Sankirtan to. Uh, uh, descend upon the palace of the Chankazi with thousands of devotees. He came from his home in Mayapur and then he came along the Ghats, mm, mm, Burdashiv Ghat, Mahaprabhu Ghat, mm, then Jagai Madai Ghat, Barakona Ghat, Nagariya Ghat, and then he came and he came to eventually to the palace of the Chankazi. So Vishwakarma, Vishwakarma, he made the 60 kuns all the way also along the route. The last one is near the Chankazi's palace to serve the Vaishnavas. So, 
There is no doubt that Mayapur is this side, that side. Don't listen to the scholars and archaeology archaeologists with their defective and limited sense perception <laughs> and empirical evidence. Because the Shastra describes the exact route that Mahapur took from uh, Jagannath Mishra Bhavan to the Chan Kazi's house and all the ghats that he went to along the way and they're all on this side and if he'd actually, if the yoga pit was on the other side then the Chaitanya Bhagavad would have described and then all the thousands of people got into thousands of boats and crossed the Ganga to get to the Chan Kazi's house right and it doesn't say that so there's no question yoga pit is here <laughs> So I'm telling you all of these things. Because now there may be that some of you are in the stage of Komala Shraddha, soft faith. So very easily you can meet someone who has another perspective or idea or misconception and you listen and Oh my God, everything I knew was wrong oh. and go into a faith crisis. It's happened to so many people. So I am giving you the inoculation, vaccination. <laughs> so you will not catch the Sahaja disease. <laughs> so this place, the bank of Baladigi is also famous because this was the uh, house of Jai Dev Goswami. So as you know, once uh, Lachman Sain, uh, the king, he heard a very beautiful poem. It was Dasavatara Stotra. So he asked his court poet, Govardhan Acharya, who has composed this beautiful poem? He said, a poet named Jaidev Goswami who is living on the bank of the Balal Diki. So then the king said, I want to have his association. But he knew that Vaishnavas are very renounced, very detached from this world. So they don't like to associate with materialistic persons and wealthy persons like kings. So the king took off his crown and ornaments and he just put on very simple white cloth. And he came here to the hut, the Bhajan Kutir of Jaidev Goswami and his wife Padmavati. So he knocked on the door. Jaidev Goswami opened the door. And then he said, Alas! I have looked in the face of a materialist. Huh? Now this place is contaminated, I will have to leave at once. So on the one hand the king, he was surprised that, oh, look, this Vaishnava is actually omniscient. How did he go? 
тем, что эта всеведающая война, откуда он узнал, что я царь. Он и был ужасен тем, что сейчас ему что поэт собирается переехать в другое место теперь. Он чувствовался отвергнутым из саду санги. And that this great Vaishnava had said that he will leave his kingdom. И тем, что он вызвал такое неудовольствие этого Вайшнава, что он разгневал Вайшнава и сейчас Вайшнава. So he fell at the feet of Jayadev Goswami and said, "Oh Vaishnava Thakur, please be merciful to me." И что этот Вайшнав теперь пригвозил, что он вообще переберется жить в другое царство, и он пал ниц перед Джайдем Госвами, стал молиться ему, Вайшнав Такур, будьте милостивы. So then Jayadev Goswami smiled. Jayadev Goswami smiled. He said, "It's all right. I was just testing your humility." Ha ha ha! I was just testing your humility. So the king said, "But your words can never be proven false." Царь сказал, "Но вы же сказали, что вы переедете. Это вы из этого места. Ваши слова должны сбыться." But if you live outside of my kingdom, then what's the use of my being a king? My kingdom, everything is useless if there are no pure Vaishnavas like you. Если вы покинете границы моего царства, я просто умру, потому что какой толк быть царем такого глупого никчемного царства, в котором не живут Вайшнавы? So you have to leave this place, but I'll give you a very beautiful place in Champahati on the other side of the Ganga. Поэтому, чтобы исполнить ваши слова, я помогу вам переселиться. Я выделю вам красивую землю в Чампахати, в красивой местности, там участок земли, и вы можете жить там. Jayadev Goswami and Padmavati they moved there. Jayadev Goswami and Padmavati переселились в Чампахати. So we'll hear more about the glories of Jayadev Goswami and Padmavati and his beautiful poetry of Gita Govinda when we visit his second residence in Champahati. И позже услышим о поэзии Jayadev Goswami и его жизни в Падмавати, когда мы посетим их резиденцию в Чампахати. So from time to time, Jayadev Goswami said, from time to time you can come and visit me here. Jayadev Goswami позволил царю периодически навещать его. And Jayadev Goswami became one of the official court poets of the great King Lakshman Sen. И он стал официально, он стал придворным поэтом Лакшман Сен. He was one of six famous poets. Один из шести известных придворных поэтов. Govardhan Acharya, Uma Bharti Dara, Sharana, Doi, Shruti Dara, and Jayadev Goswami. Шесть поэтов двора Lakshman Sen. So the court of Lakshman Sen in his palace was overflowing with the rasa of the poetry of these. Great poets. И во дворце царя всегда звучала вот эта классическая поэзия этих поэтов. So now we're going to the palace of Lakshman Sen. Сейчас мы поедем во дворец Лакшман Сен. And we'll sit down and listen to those poets manifesting the nectar of their poetry. Будем слышать поэзию этих поэтов. Lakshman Sen Maharaj ki, Jai Dev Goswami Padmavati ki, Jai Balal Digi ki, Jai Pichu Kund ki, Jai Shasti Tirth ki, Jai Shyamth Dwi Maya Pupal Gama ki, Jai Sachinandan Gohari ki, Jai Jai Gaur Prabhu Nandan.